Hey everybody, I'm back. So today I've got a, an exclusive model to show you guys. Now this one came direct from Shapeways.com. Now Shapeways is a company that produces 3D printed models, I believe of trucks, um, farm equipment, different, if it can be created through a 3D printer, they produce it. So in most cases it's, I believe, custom, made to order, custom. So, I picked this up off eBay right quick, just a couple of days ago. It is a 164 scale Kenworth T370 service truck. Now, in mainline die casts, you cannot find this one, all, find this one at all. The closest would be a Tonkin T300 or a New Ray 143rd scale. This is a really unique piece, and again, it's made completely from 3D, from a 3D printer. I want to say that's styrene, but I'm not going to say for sure, as I really don't, don't know. So anyways, again, that's shapeways.com. And I love how they put a interior on this. Now, it's not a direct Kenworth interior but an interior is an interior nonetheless I've been trying this morning to get invisible tape to work for a windshield so I wasn't able to get it now but when I get home when I get back home tonight I'm gonna give it another go hopefully I can get it just just right and the level of detail is just far out far out so this one i did not custom order the specifications i bought it as a service truck though sorry about my finger right there i am looking to get a t370 crew cab what is awesome i think besides the aluminum axle bar the chassis the wheels the tires the hubs, the wheel, yeah, I said the wheels, are all 3D printed. So the wheels do roll a little bit, but not a heck of a lot. So then again, this isn't a toy. So I'm not going to be running this up and down the couch. I mean, this is just out of this world. And what really drew me to it, and I really wouldn't have cared what kind of um, body, body it came with, I would have bought it just as a chassis cap, is just, it's a T370 in general. And these you cannot find in mainline die casts, so for example, DCP, First Gear, TWH, WSI, just to name a few. And they do a very good job, very. Uh, just looking at this, I highly, highly recommend them. Of course, uh, locker boxes, hook right up front. Hood air vent, they even got the Kenworth logo on there, that is. That spear that goes down the center of the hood. Um, I think it's just fantastic. So being that it's 3D printed, it does not weck, uh, weigh, weck, weigh a heck of a lot. Not at all. And I did not buy this one for the sheer precise detail. That would have just been un, unfair. course I would go as far to say this is handmade I would I think about it because yeah, I bought a um, what is it a 3d printed that W900s a long time ago it was a custom DCP 
and right out of the package you could smell the material this you cannot smell at all it is very pure it's very clean so yeah I want to get the, the windows with a invisible tape one gives it a little bit of a realistic uh, further enhanced realistic look and second it keeps the dust out I mean yeah the dust will collect in the service service body right there but that being the most of it it is just phenomenal I mean, I mean it I do not want to add or take away anything from this no sir no ma'am So it can be any year from, uh, I believe they first started in 2007, 2008, all the way to a current model T370. That's thing about Kenmore's is if you lease or you buy one, your truck could really be any year. It's not like a keeping up with the Joneses, you know. It's obvious. It's not obvious what year it is. I mean, it's very hard to tell. It really comes down to, you know, engine power. You know, really, not a heck of a lot. So you could actually look good driving around an older truck. Nobody would notice. Nobody would notice. And once I retire someday, a T series crew cab is what I want to get. That's versatile hauler gooseneck and all that other good stuff on the back crew cab so for the meantime this thing is just fantastic and I know I'm doing a lot of pan around but who wouldn't alright so hope you guys enjoyed do comment you guys take care